Ajay, I can't tell you what saving those fields means to the future of Kirat. Supplies, weapons, ammunition, vehicles, everything the Golden Path needs to take the fight to pagan men. I wasn't sure about you. That first time in Banapur, all I saw was Sabal and his puppet, but you are not a puppet, are you? Now I can see what you're capable of. What a difference you've made! You didn't seek it out before the war. I was six years old when my parents told me that I had to marry. That's the world Sabal is pining for. He's trying to take us back to the Dark Ages. You and I, we make a good team. Now, I could use your help to protect the statues of Kira. Paul is trying to destroy them as part of his campaign to turn the people against the Golden Path. I'm in. Ajay, it means a lot that you've supported me.
more thing, Ajay. I know it's an imposition after everything you've done, but I need you to find a way to block the way leading to the statues. What? Why? Because the ball's going to waste fighters protecting it. We're fighting a war. The Golden Part has bigger concerns. to ship in his meat from a nearby village, that is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down.
far the only thing to say. Fuck. We're doing it all wrong. Mita, I got your pictures. Paul's one sick fuck. I can only imagine, okay? If there's any good to take from this, it'll be that we can use these to destroy Pagan Min's lies. Don't spend any longer there than you have to, huh? ready for bed? Did you brush your teeth? For at least 10 seconds? That's my girl. You gonna give your mom a big kiss for me? Well, you know, she gets lonely when I'm not there. You are the lady of the house. Of course. Now, you know daddy has to work, so a gift? Sure, sweetheart. What did you want? A ring. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see that exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. I apologize for that, my daughter. You were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended.
Noor sends her regards. Noor? <laughs> Noor? She thinks her family's still alive? <laughs> oh, oh, man, we killed them years ago. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look all all those dear us. mommy letters? I've been writing them myself. Well, with Ashley, my daughter's help, I, uh, <laughs> I told her it was for a pen pal. <laughs> She's a real tearjerker, my Ashley. I really think she's got the stuff to be a writer one day. You know, she wrote this poem in the third grade. It made me and the wife ball like babies. He's alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm alive, fucking taxi driver. Ugh. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him.